Hey everyone, I'm Dave, uh, my name is David, and welcome to me discussing, creating a discussion about YouTube's Terms of Service. There have been several people on here who have already talked about it, who have ranted, who have complained, who have gotten upset because they think they're going to lose their channels, that other people they like creation-wise are going to lose their channels. But I'm not here to rant. I'm here to thank the Lord that they are not going to do that. If you're confused, you don't know about the Terms of Service yet, go read that. You can actually just go on to YouTube's Terms of Service now. I'll give you a, if you're not if you're watching this past December tenth, twenty nineteen, then don't worry about it. But if you are watching this prior to it, close to my upload date, uh, and you haven't read it yet, go read it. There will be a link inside the normal Terms of Service to show you the actual Terms of Service they're going to be going by. Uh, read that. But I'm going to, before I discuss this, counting to five, if you're still here, I'm going to continue. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, time's up. Um, now... Let me go ahead and pull some pull up what I'm referring to. Uh, let me go ahead and shift this over. And Boop. that was Speedy Gonzalez, and that is multiple me. Let's go ahead and pull up what I have here. So I was reading the terms of service throughout, like Switzerland, here, everywhere. And I read through those and I'm like, it's not as bad as they're saying. Just by the wording alone. Keep in mind, I don't think I've mentioned this about myself on my channel before, but I do write. I have binders literally right next to my desk that have drafts of different stories or poems or random ideas. That's actually the original drawing for my channel art. That's what it was supposed to look like. But I'm so bad with the paint app. Anyway, um, I mean, I've even got some extra copies here. Anyway, because I've write, I've been writing for years now on my own time, never published, never planned on it. Don't think I will. I don't know. We'll see. But because of this, I have learned that you need to take things into several different perspectives. The perspective of the main audience of YouTube takes it as if you don't gain YouTube any revenue, they will delete your channel. They will most likely delete your channel. However, I'm here to prove that wrong. I'm here to go through the questions that have been placed in front of YouTube and deduce within those questions to prove to you guys that you don't have to worry as I said at the beginning of this video. Now, let's get into it. Question number one. Why did you change the terms of service? This one kind of becomes obvious. For those who have, don't even know about this, are you, 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 new, you new to YouTube? Kappa. The FTC and Kappa. They're not going to say this on here, I'm betting anything. No, they're not going to say this on here, but... Kappa is obviously the main reason why they're changing the terms of service. But this is what they say here. Quote, It's been a while since we updated our terms, so we want to ensure they reflect the YouTube product today. We also wanted to make them more transparent and user-friendly. That on its own already says they're not going to delete channels. It won't be user-friendly if they delete channels because there won't be users. <laughs> Next question, what are the main changes? This is a doozy one. Quote, we provided a full summary of changes, but in short, which is the one we're gonna go by, improve readability, improve transparency and communication, your content, or in my case, my content, like this, their product today, how it's changed, which is a lot, so this ain't gonna last very long. <laughs> and age requirements. Good. Didn't we already have that? <laughs> That's just me joking, by the way. That's not a rant. 
we already did have the age requirements, but the fact that they're reiterating it, I commend them for that. Honestly, a lot of people have been hating on YouTube, on Google, for changing things so frequently because of the dumb decision with Kappa that had been made, but the fact that they're willing to reiterate the idea that, hey, you have to be this particular age to participate with this group. They're abiding by what the captain is going down with their ship, just asking their crew to go down with them. Yeah, I know. Pirate metaphor. Shut up. <laughs> I don't do this very often, okay? I don't get to do this very often. Because I don't talk about things very often on this channel. Anyway, so those are kind of the main points. If you've been reading like the extensive versions or you paused and read through them, you'll notice that none of those are against keeping a channel on the platform. Keep in mind, Google and YouTube still know why they originally made the platform, and it wasn't for finance. If they went against that, it'd be ridiculous. Yes, it's basically the next TV, but still, they'd have a lot of angry people on their hands, and they already have enough on their hands as it is. Keep that in mind. Next question, will this affect monetization? This is a piece of that original statement that everyone was afraid of, just a tiny piece. The biggest one is like the private, what does this mean for privacy and data, because in regards to privacy and data, that's where the category of will you delete my channel falls under. We'll get to that in a little bit though. Will this affect monetization? No. Boom. Yeah. It's not going to affect monetization. It's not going to affect how that portion of terms of service works. And if you, I mean, if they try to lie about this, I mean, everybody could take them to court for that. And they lose, because literally all we have to do is screenshot this and show it to the judge and they're done. Does this have to do with the European Union copyright direct? So what, this is how a lot of us, I think, look at Article 17. Or, for those of you who know of it, Article 13. A lot of people have been saying Article 13 won. Like, Article 13 came up on top. They beat YouTube. But they didn't. It's not even Article 13. It's Article 17. Which is basically creators of Article 13 and Article... The creators of Article 13 coming together with YouTube and or Google to create an equivalent law that agrees on both ends, which is exactly what the FTC is doing with COPPA right now. But nobody considers this. They look at the downside and go, it's going to end up like this. So far, they've all been wrong. And finally, what does this mean for my privacy and data? We haven't made any change, quote, sorry, quote, we haven't made any changes to the way we treat your information. You can read about our privacy practices by reviewing the privacy policy and YouTube Kids privacy notice. As a reminder, you can always review your privacy settings and manage your data and personalization by visiting your Google account. Now, if they're saying this, consider these facts. Why would they say these things if they plan on deleting accounts, terminating accounts, deleting footage? If they were planning on doing all this, they wouldn't make these terms of service. They would just do it and then make the terms of service. But that's not what they're doing. Some of my, foot, my own personal footage that I would think they would delete is still there because I, it's not what it's it's not what it seems now I do have the terms of service on my phone um, but again the whole I actually there's it I'm not the only one saying this either I'm just going about it my own way to say there's no need to panic you guys are oh you guys are not over exaggerating you're just reading it 
going by English definition of these words and deducing it from that, which makes sense. But laws are never writ written accurately. Ac oh my gosh. Laws are never written accurately, ever. So, all I need, first of all, yeah, that was helpful. Because it makes me deduce to say this. Don't freak out. Your channel is safe. Little YouTuber, big YouTuber, family friendly, not. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do. They can try to terminate it, but they can't. As far as the channel existing goes, that's all on you, buddy. I am going to leave this here, though. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind for a future reference. If a channel is removed, they probably found some kind of spam thing. They're probably going, if they don't give reason or fact or anything like that, then they're not very bright. But I would guess since they usually do one channel every bajillion. Like the, oh, the only time I've actually ever seen this happen is on Markiplier's channel where spam comments that Mark wants them to do goes and does it and YouTube suspends, terminates accounts for this particular reason because the programming thinks it's spam, which it is, but I mean within the... Within the fine print, it does say don't spam. And yet, we're being asked to spam. Hmm, I, I, I wonder why I never do that. Just, that's like the only time they ever delete things, is when they find some kind of spam or some kind of repetitiveness or inappropriateness. There's a, re there, there's a reason some channels aren't getting monetized anymore, because they have inappropriate things on there, which, let's be honest, with the upcoming events, they'll probably get monetized soon, especially with all the new terms of service, the cop, the COPPA, all that. It'll be fine. But anyway, yeah, don't freak out. It's fine. YouTube and Google have even said it themselves. So if they go against this, here's video footage to use against them. However, I don't think they will. I honestly don't. And so far, everything that I've thought about this platform, it's not exactly inaccurate, not spot on. Like the whole Article 13 thing, I predicted it was just going to outright fail. Article 13 did fail technically, but it also succeeded. It's Article 17 now, so it'll come out for the better is what I'm going to say for this. Channels won't get deleted unless you spam or unless you do something against the terms of service. And disregarding what you think of the whole financial thing, because that's not the case. Otherwise, they'd lose a lot of users. They'd lose their own finance just by deleting these accounts. Like me, for example. I'll skip this one more thing, and then I'll end the video. I watch YouTubers all the time. I watch people like, as I stated, Markiplier. I loved a heist with Markiplier. That was one of the last skits he did that I lo I think that's one of the last skits he actually did. I loved it. It's a YouTube original. I would watch it over and over again if I could, which I can. I might watch it later today. Uh, I watch my own stuff just for kicks and giggles, because why the hell not? <laughs> um, and that's not it either. I watch people like... like it, it's mainly gamers for me, because I love... The reactions people give off. Uh, Obi Wan plays for like the news or HMK. Those two channels are my main for gaming news. Uh, for law stuff, um, I'll watch. There are two main channels I watch. I can't remember one of them. Legal Eagles was one of them. The other one is let's see. Hoag Law, H-O-E-G. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. Uh, but those are the two main law ones that I watched. And when 
I saw Hoglaw's video on this. That's when I thought, I want to figure this out for myself. Most people are saying this is bad, but this one said it's not as bad as you think. And then I found these. It's not as bad as you think. It really isn't. I mean, I was afraid my channel was going to get removed or deleted because I don't make any money off of it at all. Intentionally, I don't want to make money off of it current, at least at this current moment. I, I it'd be nice if I had YouTube as a job. It'd be, it'd be, a dream come true, honestly. And that's for a lot of people. That's almost everyone on this platform who treats it in a goodly manner. But at the same time, likelihood of that happening is a roll of a die. <laughs> but anyway. As I said, this is not a ranting video. This is just me basically going, don't panic. It'll get you nowhere. Because you don't need to panic anyway. We're not in danger. They're not going to delete our accounts. In doing that, they're risking a big problem with their own company. And that's not what they want. They already have enough problems as it is. And with that said, I am going to leave this video here. If you think I'm missing anything, any details, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Uh, this is more. If this is definitely left up for discussion, I want to know what you guys think about this whole terms of service thing. I don't think, because of all the evidence I've seen, I honestly don't think um, anybody's going to get their channel deleted unless they spam, or as I said earlier, unless they spam, or do something really, really inappropriate, like against the terms of service. Again, aside from finance, because that's not even what they're trying to say at this point. I've seen a lawyer talk about this whole thing, which, again, it's Hogla. I'll put a link to the particular video I'm referring to down in the description below. Um, in any case, with that said, I am going to end this here. Um, if you are curious for yourself whether this is just false or not, go check out the help section for YouTube it's, and just look up the terms of service. This is what you'll find. Um, you know my thoughts? I'm not afraid. I know I'm not going to lose my content. I know none of my favorite creators are going to lose their content because I know that's not the goal that Google and or your choice YouTube has, have, had, depending on when you're watching this. <sighs> I can rest at ease now. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to end this discussion video here, this my thoughts video, whatever you want to call it. Let's show this bit again and transition me in three, two, one. Okay, so yeah, I am going to leave this video here. Again, if you have any thoughts, just let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll have a link to the playlist just right up over here. Hold on. A bird. A bird duck. Because the link to my subscribe, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'll just see the gaming content that I normally do. It's right here or right down there <laughs> or depend depend depending on what you're watching it could be it no yeah it's definitely gonna be there at least and the buttons right there um, I don't know when it's gonna show up or if it's there already um, if you guys want to check out any gaming stuff that I do that'll just be across my head here uh, you want to check out any of the stuff and any other discussions or rants that I've done in the past, that'll be up over here. For right now, I'm going to leave this here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!